What's up ladies and gents, Sinistra so one your host and welcome to something new on the channel. I'm going to show you maybe just a few videos of this to uh, to see if this is going to be something you're going to want to pick up. This is Umbrella Core. This is obviously from the Resident Evil series. This is like the Rainbow Six edition of uh, the Resident Evil series. So if you're a fan of, of that type of gameplay, then this is going to be obviously right up your alley. So this is a third person tactical shooter with zombies kind of mixed in there. Uh, uh, strictly online kind of play. We're going to go through, I'm going to show you uh, two of the tutorials here, and you can kind of get a feel for how the game reacts and plays. I'm playing this uh, in 1440 with uh, keyboard and mouse on the PC version. I believe it's only going to be out for PS4 and for Steam. So with that being said, we're going to go into the tutorial. Let's actually first open up the options. <coughs> and you guys can see what I'm playing on. Everything is set up to max and of course motion blur off because I just never really like motion blur. And let's start up the tutorial. We'll do the basic and the advanced and this will give you a chance to uh, check out the, the type of gameplay that you're going to be able to uh, to do in this. So um, all I've done is the tutorial so far. I can't really say too much about what I think of it but I gotta say I think the game looks great. Um, the controls feel very, very well done and optimized. The game runs super smooth. And um, I got to say, this is not a full release game. So it's not like uh, you're going to, you know, spend 60 bucks on this. Uh, it's definitely not $60 that you're going to uh, buy this for. This is definitely, um, well, we'll just let the gameplay kind of speed for itself. So we're going to go through here as, uh, as we figure everything out. So... Right now, I can already tell I need to change something because I did have my controller set in before. So let's turn off this here real quick. And that way I should be better. Since I had the controller plugged in earlier and I decided that I was going to do this for uh, PC controls. So it's a very, very close to the shoulder kind of view. And you can zoom in into first person when you aim. Uh, your map is displayed in the bottom, which is actually, I like that feature. Alright, so we need to kill three zombies with our sub-weapon. You have different levels of zoom. That's pretty cool. It's the PC version, remember, so. Uh, to change weapon, we're going to need to hit two. And same thing, you can zoom in and out with the mouse click, or you can hold the uh, mouse two. I like it because they actually turn into like these. This is a, they turn into different types of zombies, which is actually really, really weird, but cool. All right, kill three zombies with your main weapon. All right, so crouch, and you can hold it to, to crawl. <clears throat> Very tactical, actually. All right, melee attack is with V in this. Throw a grenade with G. And that's going to be it for the basic one. The advanced one's going to get uh, definitely into more detail. It's going to be a short video just kind of showing you a little bit of gameplay. I am going to be playing a few missions once I get the uh, the game kind of under my hands a little bit. So you guys can make the choice whether you want to purchase this or not. Again, this is not a full $60 game. I, I can't 100% uh, say how much it is. I think it's uh, 40 or 30 uh, depending on what you're getting. But um, don't quote me on that. But I know it is not a full retail $60 game. As it is strictly pretty much multiplayer. So I guess really this game is all going to uh, depend on the players. 
Uh, if it's there's going to be a lot of people playing this type of game, then this game is going to be awesome because there's going to be people playing it, and you'll always be able to find matches. But if there's nobody playing it, then obviously you're probably not going to be able to find too many matches. All right, so you've also got cover, which is actually really cool. So you can aim over cover for that specific aiming. And you can jump over cover too. You can kick it, you can slowly open it with the W. Alright, so we need to switch to our melee weapon, which is actually pretty cool. With a heated brainer, so we need to charge it. I guess it's like a special kill. Two for the price of one there, it looks like. Alright, so we just need one more with the regular. And there you go. Let's kick it. I actually am going to say that I prefer to use a controller for these type of games. So I will most likely be using a controller when I play. can climb up walls and stuff, which is actually some pretty cool, uh, unique maneuvering there. Do a zombie shield. That's pretty cool, guys. <laughs> and that's going to be it. That's just showing you guys a little bit of gameplay for um, Umbrella Core. I will be making another video where I will showcase off uh, a match or two just to give you guys a good representation of the game and of course let me know your comments below if you would like to see we can kind of move around here a little bit and see what there is kind of to offer here we've got the experiment so there are single player missions um, so that's actually pretty cool so there is a, a a continuation of playing the game if you don't you know want to go online but uh, you can take a look. As of right now, there's only Team Deathmatch from the look of it. Uh, as far as... Let's let's take a look. So you can customize. Um, let's look at some of the customization op options here. Outfits. Now, I've got... This is the deluxe version, so... I don't know. We're going to have more unlocked than probably the normal version. All kinds of things that you can. This jammer actually keeps the zombies from attacking you. <laughs> so if that gets busted, then they will start to attack you. And it looks like you can also um, rotate the model. You can change. <coughs> I apologize. You can change uh, the color. So lots of different variable options here. Let's see, icon. You can change those different presets. So this is definitely your more tactical kind of game. You can re I mean, you're gonna have some really cool customization options here. Obviously, you can have this on here, too. Alright, last one is uh, decal. Oh, you can... Wow, that's actually quite a bit of customization. You can put that in anywhere on your face or although that does look a little weird, but that's kind of cool that you can do stuff like that. So you've got uh, let's let's take a look at some of the weapon sets here. Presets, all kinds of presets. I 
We have three unlocked to us already, and then there's plenty more. You level up. Uh, Career-wise, you can take a look at your ranks and how many people's played and all that stuff. Um, so, different rule base. So, you're playing against human players. But you got zombies kind of thrown in there. One life match, defeat all players. It's three on three, it looks like. Defeat all players on the enemy team to win. If you die, you cannot respond until the end of the round. All right. Well, I showed you a little bit of that. So again, we'll go into a, uh, a game here uh, shortly. But I just wanted to get this video out to you guys so you can take a look at it. It is available right now for PS4 and for Steam. So if this is something you think you're going to want to pick up, and you've got the money to spare, I, uh, I highly recommend you do so if you like tactical shooters. It's just, I we don't know if the game is going to be popular based off of how many people are playing it, if this is an online game, so uh, keep that in mind. But thank you guys for watching, and um, of course, we'll see you on the next video. Peace out, bitches!